the only way to have a level playing field at the highest level of play is to have is 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 to not have voice chat to not have people give up their linguistic profiles i mean and maybe you maybe you think you know if if you are a competitive gamer which a lot of people have been like Steph, you're not a, you don't you clearly know nothing about competitive play well competition by the way y'all competition requires you to get every advantage possible to become one the top 0.01% in any video game you have to you have to get Squeeze every amount of, of advantage you can possibly get. Voice chat is unfair. Period. Can we at least, some of the people that have been with me for a while, can we at least say that the people saying just don't use voice chat or just mute are are like being really dumb about this can we can we at least can we at least agree on that like everyone some of you have more nuance but please tell me no y'all are still y'all still just don't you don't get it argument here is it is um and i put it in the podcast notes let me just pull it real quick um because so so her argument seems to be um she wants to ban voice chat from competitive games because she is arguing that it creates an uneven playing field for marginalized people okay okay i, I have to be honest that is that is objectively and equivocally stupid Cool. Sorry, real quick, just to add to that, um, just to like throw my esports cred in here, the idea that competitive games are not modified by voice chat is nuts. Yeah, if you could imagine like an LCS without yeah watch or, my pins guys yeah like, dude, guys, yeah, guys, guys. yeah like, like it's just it's insane yeah yeah guys, even even in the podcast when i came in dude i was the game of halo 2 dude i was like pick up the flag you fucking rat dude but i couldn't tell him because I, I didn't have voice comms labeled right and i was like dude pick up pick it up it's right there dude and it, it just did it's so different mm. you know yeah yeah well i so i mean I, as somebody who does get shit every time they open their mouth in a game i still wouldn't want voice comms con like that's insane yeah, I, I and, think what she maybe, wait 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 and and like, sorry, maybe yeah. that is like a huge cultural difference between like uh, America and Norway. But I would just be like, why would why would I give a shit? Like for me, like I would just like okay, they can like hate my voice as much as I want. My girlfriend likes my voice. My viewers like my voice. Everyone else can fuck off. And, but, I, and you want to win the game, right? That's yeah. Most, I want to. I want to win the game. You want to win the game. That's good. I want to yell at my teammates like stop running down mid and feeding you idiot. This is her enemy. I can't stand this. She can sit there and trash talk this way. If we say another word back, we're banned. We're cancelled. She's... I'm not going to give it a... This is, prov this is provoking Thank of Twitch. The three. Welcome they should Albert to the Champions this Club. Albert, woman get should in, be settle in. Fit in. Rip she, in. In my part, who should win. be unpartnered Hello, and kicked out of the team for saying this. That that's my opinion of the case. Just because she's throwing shit at other groups, it doesn't matter if they're marginalized or not. Everyone, in my opinion, should be held to the same standards. The same standards overall. If you're marginalized, if you're not, you should be held to the fo same fucking rules. Every you've got the anti-bullying brand ambassador. You've got um. You, you, you've got, you've got like people within these communities that like you need diversity. It's so funny that Twitch advocates diversity that they say our most, one of our most important foundations and pillars is diversity. And yet you don't have diversity in all of your initiatives. Real diversity doesn't just mean you include lesbians, gays, and transsexuals and, and marginalized groups. It means you contribute from all groups, including those you get everybody involved. That's what diversity is. 
Like like this is this isn't diversity. This is corporate diversity. This is this is this is um this is to 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 play a certain tune on a violin for one group of people. Here, I'm gonna turn off my my camera. We're, we'll watch the deer clip, and I'm not gonna react to it. You start and come back to here, maybe. Nice and soft. Down to the back of the head. Maybe down a little bit. <laughs> What's nice about four speeches? Don't sort of give me feedback on your speeches. <laughs> They're pretty sensitive to speeches. So speeches in different areas. Wrote those tactics. I identify as Dan Sutz, okay, I diddle. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Stop linking me. I don't want to read anymore. I'm going to get banned for bullying. Please don't make me bully people. So screeches in different areas get different reactions from forest creatures. Now, there are all kinds of weird interpretations you can have for this, and I, I don't think it's fair for me to really make any of them unless, um, you know, unless I've talked to the person. But s people identify as different things, like, that's just part of psychology, Like right? People, like, identify as different things, and they can have all kinds of reasons to identify as different things. And we don't understand exactly what's going on with this person until we ask her, like, you know, what makes you feel like you're a deer? And I would love to ask that question. You know, how long have you been a deer? Were you born a deer? Like, why do you think you're in this body? Like, I would love to ask that question. And I have worked with people who, who have had identities of, like, animals before. I've also worked with people who, yeah, and, like, it's, you know, it's like, so you just talk to them and you try to figure out, like, where this comes from.